we just got to the gym. I am training at Powerhouse North today. It's um, got all the equipment that I need for uh, squatting and deadlifting and some trap bar stuff. I'm actually really excited to train today because it's been uh, over a week since I've done any kind of lifting. Uh, with weights <laughs> the last week has just been like all rehabilitation stuff so I've finally been given the go-ahead from my coach uh, Andres um, if you do not know who Andres is you should definitely go check him out uh, at the strength cage um, is his Instagram tag so you can go and see see what he does but today's program uh, is actually going to be pretty heavy considering I have had time off and I'm aware of this so I'm probably going to feel a little sore um, over the next couple of days with my workouts. So um, I've only got three days of lifting, so I'm going to make sure that I'm spacing them out uh, with plenty of recovery in between um, so that I can get back in and lift heavy again um, and feel as um, good as I possibly can. So. I assume that after today's workout I'll probably make sure I do some stretching um, and then tomorrow I'll do plenty of recovery work so I'm probably going to get in the sauna, uh, do some kind of meditation and make sure I get all my um, rehab exercises in so if you guys follow me along on uh, my Instagram you would have seen me post about those uh, today actually so the other cool thing I want to show you guys is my new lifting equipment that has come in um, so our sponsor is uh, Iron Tanks now they do awesome lifting apparel um, from your belts from your footwear all your accessories and they have some really cool clothing get up as well so uh, let's jump out we'll go and take a look at my new belt that's come in the Hellraiser uh, and some of the other stuff that they've uh, sent over from Australia this is my new training belt. Uh, it is the Hellraiser uh, by Iron Tanks. These guys definitely go check their stuff out. Um, great thing about this is it's got a lever belt um, for really quick release. Like when you've got your belt on tight, the last thing you want to be doing is keeping it on as firm as it is when you're squatting and you're deadlifting. So you just kind of rank, uh, yank it off and it's off. Um, and they've been fail proof so far uh, according to all the, the big guys that wear these so they give you a lot of support um, and they don't blow out um, the other thing that I wanted to show you is um, my new uh, knee sleeves so I've been using the size large up until now uh, and they're not really giving me a lot of support it's just like a nice snug fit so the, the mediums which is the ones that I have here um, these should be a lot more firm they'll be harder to get on uh, but what, what the benefit is of having them firmer is that at the bottom of my squat uh, where there's a lot of pressure and load on your, your knees um, it's going to help you feel a little bit more stable at the bottom so um, yeah I'm really keen to try these and my belt out today. <laughs> So one of the main things that I'm going to focus on uh, today's session is where I brace, how I brace, and my breathing. Um, so with the work that I've been doing on uh, my core uh, this past uh, two weeks or fortnight, I need to really think about um, how I brace, and that means uh, recruiting my transverse abdominal muscles, not just my uh, rectus abdominal muscles. So we're talking about the deep um, uh, inner core. Um, so when I'm squatting, rather than just kind of like bracing I kind of need to like suck in and draw up as well as brace and keep tight so uh, that's certainly what I will be thinking of uh, during these first few warm-up sets <laughs> Iron tanks lifting belt. Now there's nothing wrong with this belt. I'm now moving into uh, powerlifting. So something like this is quite thin um, and it's not going to give you as much um, support in your lumbar spine uh, for your heavier lifting. And because I am now kind of to a point where I need a little bit extra support to protect my back, um, I've upgraded to the Hellraiser. So this is really good and I encourage people to always use a belt. Um, because it helps your posture as well. Um, so I would use this for all my pulling sessions uh, and on my lower body days. It's also important for like 
you know, shoulders or arms or those smaller uh, muscle groups, but um, certainly I have always used a belt, um, even when I was lifting a lot lighter, just from my uh, pulling at lower body days. Coming back to the belt I showed you guys outside, uh, you can see like it's much thicker and it's, uh, it's a lot more rigid uh, than the other belt. Um, you've got this lovely heavy duty um, latch on it to support and lock you in tight. So. Uh, it's a lot shorter, it's hard, harder to get on, really nestles in there, and then you just grab this and I'm gonna suck in. And now, like, that's really tight. But uh, that's probably pretty normal. Um, the first time you wear a thicker belt like this. So it's not really something to be concerned about. But yeah, I'll probably have bruises on my ribs <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> My deadlifts um, because of my hip uh, troubles the last few weeks uh, I'm actually gonna do these uh, off a very low uh, platform so you could do these off the blocks uh, or on like a higher support uh, it's just reducing um, the amount of bend that I have to do to get over to the bar um, hopefully it'll alleviate some of the, the pain that I've been getting and if I feel good uh, after this today then perhaps my other lifting session later in the week, um, I'll swap back over and deadlift from the ground. Uh, but I just want to take a conservative today. I'm still going to try and lift a, a fair amount of weight, but um, yeah, I just don't want to niggle any more niggles. <laughs> Those reps that I just did then are were power reps, so or speed reps. So 
uh, from the bottom of the rack uh, to the top of the movements and when I come into extension um, they are fast as fast as possible and then I just the rest of the rep is at my normal tempo so um, yeah I guess it's just practicing um, driving and powerful um, lifting off the ground so yeah Next, I have uh, some sideline clams. Uh, these are usually part of my warm-up routine, uh, but my coach would like me to do those after this. I guess it's just like a recovery movement, just making sure all things are still really good. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, leave me comments down below. Um, and I'll hopefully, hopefully I can answer them uh, in as much de detail as you need. Hopefully you found some of the exercises for warm-ups that I did really useful. Um, if you're somebody who's been having troubles with um, like a tights OS or um, you know, weak glutes, those are some really good exercises along with the one I just did at the very end of the session. Um, the other thing that you could consider as well is like I've been doing today, uh, working your deadlifts from um, blocks or on the rack. Um, it's just alleviating a little bit of that extra lean um, bend that I'm happy to do, which is going to just protect my hips for a little bit longer as long as I can. Um, and then when I get closer to my um, meet day, I'll probably start lifting back from the ground again as soon as I'm feeling better. So, um, remember to check out Iron Tanks. They have some really good lifting apparel. You saw my belt today, you saw my knee wraps. My wrist wraps are also from Iron Tanks, so go and have a look. I'll put the links for uh, their website um, down below in the uh, description of this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I really appreciate your support, and uh, yeah, I wish you um, best of luck with your fitness and nutrition journey.